This is the waffle maker from First Buy. This is one of their larger waffle makers. So here on the front is the handle of the waffle maker. So from the handle to the back of the waffle maker, it's 11 and a half inches. It's 9.2 inches this way and then 3.9 this way. So it's nice and compact. It's also square, so it stores really nicely in cabinets or in shelving. Um, it also comes with six different recipes that work super well with this waffle maker. So fun recipes like pumpkin walnut, apple walnuts, they have chocolate waffles in here, as well as like oatmeal raisin waffles. So if you're looking to kind of change up your waffles, there's some different waffle recipes in here that are pretty easy to make, but also fun. So this waffle maker is one of the, like I said, one of their larger ones. Um, it does make four waffles at a time. So as you can see, there are four waffle compartments. So two at the top, two at the bottom for four nice square waffles. So there is no temperature control on this one. So it's all kind of just automated for you, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cord and plug it in. Um, there is a cord wrap here on the bottom just to nicely store and keep your cord nice and neat. So this can make both nice gourmet waffles in about four to five minutes, but if you leave them in a little bit longer to so about six or seven minutes, you can get some nice fluffy Belgian waffles. So adjust your recipes and your baking time on this just to get your waffles to the doneness that you prefer. I went ahead and mixed up some waffle mix. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some spray and we can keep, in, keep an eye on the indicator light, which is currently red. I'm watching for it to turn green and then also to turn off. So I've preheated my waffle maker and I know that I've done that because the red indicator light is on, but so is that green indicator light. This green indicator light will turn off and on just to maintain the temperature because the temperature, temperature will fluctuate as you use it. Right now it's green. I could wait for it to turn off as well before I pour the waffle batter in, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, either way, it means it's preheated. So before you use this for the very first time, take about a teaspoon of oil and kind of just oil off the, um, the plates. This is my first time using it. I've already done that, but I am going to go ahead and use a little bit of olive oil on this just to keep my waffles from sticking. Also, just to show you, the green light just flipped off while I was talking. So right down here, this red light is on, but the green one has now turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift here. I wanna go ahead and oil my plate. So I have a spray. So I'm using olive oil, but you can use a vegetable oil. You could use like a butter spray or like canola oil, whatever you prefer. Let me go ahead and give these one last little stir. And make sure you're pouring onto the bottom plate. Like this. And I didn't make a ton of waffle mix. This is only enough for about two. All right, once you've poured your waffle batter in, go ahead and close the lid. I'm gonna set a timer for about five minutes, maybe five to six, depending on how fluffy I want these. And then I will open it up and show you what the waffles look like. So it's been about five to six minutes. I'm gonna go and show you my waffle. So here it is, it's a nice gold color. I could leave it on for another minute or so, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my waffle maker Make sure you allow it to cool down by leaving the plates or the lid open like this. And to clean, you just want to go ahead and use like a damp cloth um, or with a little bit of soap on it perhaps, and then just kind of wipe it off like that. Don't completely submerge this in water or put it in the dishwasher. So if you're looking for a good waffle maker um, that doesn't take up tons of space, it's not super messy, um, it's just very easy to use and easy to store, check out First Buy's Waffle Maker.